Hey there, good looking. I am so excited that you're joining me for this workout. This is a total body strength workout, only using one dumbbell, so I want you to grab a heavy and a sturdy chair. Now this workout is geared more towards intermediate and advanced exercises, and it's for women. And it's for those of us over the age of 40, and it is a revamp of a cult classic on my channel, as well as in my classes, a workout that I termed the gladiator. Yes. So, hey, if you're new to this channel, I would love to keep working with you. Click the subscribe, click the notification bell, and we can continue this journey together. All right, grab that heavy dumbbell, grab that sturdy chair, and let's go get busy. Hello there. Hey, welcome. I'm PJ from fitnesswithpj.com and I help women over the age of 40 reclaim the tush of their 20s. Hey, I've been doing this for 25 years now. I'm 50 years old myself and hey, that's why I started this channel. So it's so awesome you stopped by. All right, put your gear off to the side. We are going to get warmed up. I will chat about the workout as we do the warm up and yeah, we're just going to basically have a barrel of fun for the next 45 minutes. Yes, baby. All right. Here we go. Let's do some big hip circles. Take the leg up, rotate out. Beautiful. So we have a grouping of 10 movements. We're doing it in circuit style, one after another. Boom, 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 boom. No rest. Three rounds. And then you can call it a day. Yeah? Okay, good. One more. Other side. Here we go. Now, at any time, you can push pause, right? I would never know. <laughs> so if you find that it's getting too much, you can push pause or march on the spot, grab some water. Last two, it's your workout. I want you to go what feels good for you. One, all right, feet apart for me. Inhale, reach up, look up, exhale, fold forward, grab onto your toes if you're able to. Now bend at the knees, drop the bum all the way down, heels on the ground. Give me a little side to side action here and push through the heels and drive up. Yes, really deep hip opener and warming up into the legs with this drill. Inhale, extend, exhale, fold forward, grab onto your toes, drop the tush, elbows push on the outside of those knees, kind of wiggle it side to side. Again, keep those heels on the ground, please, and drive up. Beautiful, two more. Inhale, reach up, exhale, fold forward, grab the toes, drop the tush, Elbows inside, knees push out, rock it, and drive up. One more time, inhale, reach up, look up, exhale, fold forward, drop the tush. I sound like a broken record, <laughs> and drive on up. Feet together, step out to one side for me, give me a side lunge, and then give me a rotation too. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give lots of gimme's in that sentence. So, working into the hips, further hamstrings. Really see if you can give me a deeper lunge as you go, right? We're getting a little warmer now. Been moving for a few minutes now. Oh, forgot to turn on my watch. Oh no, we gotta start from the top again. <laughs> Four more. Last one. Beautiful. Stand on the end of your mat. You want your body length in front of you. If you've been with me before, you know what we're about to do. Some walkouts to warm up into the shoulders and the core. So hinge forward. Try to keep those legs as straight as you can. Walk out. Now get the wrists under your shoulders. Tap each shoulder with the opposite hand and then walk yourself back. Yeah? Awesome. Now, if this bothers your wrists, you can take yourself into a wall push-up against the wall. You can use that one dumbbell and do a chest press. So on the ground, pressing the dumbbell up and down. Lots of options for you. I never leave a woman behind in my workouts. Now we're going to pick up the tempo a little bit. One more for me. Walk back and shake out those arms. All right, I highly recommend a sip of water now because once we get going, whoo, baby, the movements are gonna be a flowing. So grab some water. I'm gonna demo the first couple of moves. Okay, I'll demo the first three moves 
And then I'll just coach you as we go from here. As mentioned, three rounds, 50 seconds are on the clock for each round. Heavy dumbbell, take your feet wide, toes are turned out. Dumbbell held up close to the body, drop it down into a goblet squat, drive up, squeeze, squeeze the tush on the way up. Second exercise, prone squat to toe taps. This one's really cool, it's gonna burn everything, no dumbbell required. We want to start with our head past our fingertips. So our hands aren't forward. I want you to notice that. Head past the fingertips, feet shoulder width apart. Now sit back like you're doing a squat. Knees are just a couple inches off the ground. Push yourself forward. Now push yourself up into downward dog. Tap a toe, go back to high plank. Up into downward dog, tap a toe, back into high plank and do it again. Now, if you are thinking, PJ, you're nuts, I'm not doing that. <laughs> There's a couple of options you can do, okay? What we can do is that, prone squat only, and then tap opposite shoulder. You can also go down to the knees for the shoulder taps, okay? So you would be high plank, give me the squat, then the shoulder taps, all right? If it's still not going to work for you, what I'd love for you to do is take that heavy dumbbell. If you've got something going on in the wrists or the shoulders that just isn't allowing you to be weight bearing on your hands, you'll go into a bridge position, bum up, and do a single arm press. Okay, or single dumbbell press, I should say. All right, so there's some options for you on that one. I actually think I might get rid of my mat. Well, we'll see, my mat's pretty slippy. So if I slide, I guess that'll make good TV. Um, second exercise, third exercise, wood chops. Wood chops is a great exercise to keep the heart rate up. We want form though, everybody. So it's a hip hinge. So see, I have a neutral spine. Now use my glutes to get the dumbbell up there, up there. And you're really gonna hold on to that dumbbell too because you're at home and you don't want that sucker going right through the drywall. Use the hips on that one, all right? And then we got a whole bunch of other stuff. <laughs> so we'll just go as we go, right? Here we go, goblet squat number one. 50 seconds on the clock, let's get set up. Feet are where? That's right, wider than your shoulders. Toes are turned out, abs are what? Engaged. You ready? Go, round one. Now, are you able to drop down to the elbows touch the insides of those thighs of yours? Give it a try. As you drive up, squeeze the glutes, get the booty working. Prone squat to toe taps, that second move I showed you, we're doing that next. And remember, if that's not gonna work for your wrist, I showed you that chest press. So I hope you're having a good day. If you are not, you will feel amazing when you're done. This is literally, like I said, it's a revamp of a cult classic of a workout of mine. I love this workout too. When I don't feel like working out, which happens, <laughs> it happens, I'll do this. I'm like, okay, I can do this, I can do this. Just something about this, just using one dumbbell, series of moves, boom, done. Time. All right, prone squat to toe taps. Again, you can be on your back bridge and do the chest press if this isn't gonna work for you. Otherwise, join me, feet shoulder width apart, head past the fingertips. Sit your bum back, keep the knees just a couple inches off your floor. Come forward, now go into downward dog. Dog, pardon me, tap a toe, other toe. Beautiful, do it again. So we go back to that high plank after each toe tap. We want the plank to be clean. Feel that in the thighs, doing that squat pattern. I know, awesome, huh? Wood chops coming up. Oh, time. All right, grab that dumbbell. Whew. Okay, we want the feet apart. Remember, it's a hip hinge, so we have a neutral spot. So let it swing through the hips and then use the glutes and the hips there to get the dumbbell up there. Hold on to that post. <laughs> Otherwise, explain that one to your contractor. Well, I was doing a wood chop exercise and the dumbbell just kind of flew across the room. <laughs> now, T push-ups are coming up next. 
If push-ups aren't your thing, you'll do that chest press we did earlier or that you did if you didn't do the prone squats, or you can also do push-ups against the wall. But if push-ups are your bag, you're gonna love this move. It's gonna hit the core, hit the chest, and hit the triceps. Whew. So hip hinge, ready? Time, all right. Now, my push-ups aren't the strongest, so I'll do the push-up actually from the knees, so I have a strong-looking push-up. Join me if you'd like. So from the knees, let's do a push-up. Chest to ground, head up. Good, now when I push myself up, I'll come into plank. My feet are hip width apart, that's important, because when I rotate, I want both heels to hit the ground to get into that T position, back to center, and push up. Feet hip width apart, both heels hit the ground. Perfect. Oh yeah. So I want that push-up to be deep, okay? So if you've got to go on the knees to clean it up and make it look good, do so. Make sure both the inside and outside edges of your feet are hitting the ground fully. You're in a nice, stable side plank. Time. Grab that heavy dumbbell. Hold it up close to the chest for me. Alternating reverse lunges, feet hip width apart. Step back, knee to ground, and drive up. So if you can, I want that back knee to come all the way down to your ground. Back shoulder and hip are in one line. Beautiful. feel my legs from my workout yesterday. <laughs> I did a lot of high intensity interval training yesterday. Time. Keep that dumbbell, give the legs a break, alternating one arm rows. Feet hip width apart, hip hinge, so we have that neutral spine. Dumbbell down, give me a row, switch arms. Now at no time do I lift up, do I round the spine, do I look up, everything is neutral. My upper body is parallel to my floor, my abs are engaged, and I'm using the back muscles, arm muscles, rear delt to lift the dumbbell up. Push your tailbone up to that ceiling. You want that lower lumbar curve. Abs engage. If you start to feel that low back, okay? It might fatigue a bit. There's no question, right? We're using our low back extensors. Time. Hold ourselves in space, but there shouldn't be pain. All right, dumbbell in the left hand, feet together, step out with the right leg for a side lunge. Dumbbell can come to the ground if you like, switch arms, switch legs. So we're tra traveling with this just like we did in warm up. Keep yourself squared to me. Really give a good stride out, okay? And then hips and knees facing towards me a bit. Push the booty back, so we've got that, what we call hip hinge again. Time. All right, we have a renegade row coming up. If this isn't going to work for your wrist, I want you to go back to that row pattern that we just did, but now pull the arm out wide, okay? Otherwise, dumbbell under chest, on the toes to modify on the knees. Pull the elbow up, row. Alternate. Keep the wrist that's on the ground under your shoulder. Feet apart. Don't let those hips move. So there shouldn't be too much shifting in the lower body.
This is a super tough move. We got a lot going on in this move, so really perfect it. If you've got to do every second one with no dumbbell, go for it. I'd rather you have good form, feel that you're in control of the movement, than sloppy. Time. Whew. I'm glad that one's done. <laughs> All right, grab your chair, alternating step ups. If you don't want to do a step up, or if you don't have a chair, then you hold a wall sit, okay? So wall sit, dumbbell up. No matter what version you're doing, wall sit or alternating knee up, I want you to have that dumbbell. I'm all bossy pants today, aren't I? <laughs> you don't have to have the dumbbell if it's too much. Now, if you're doing the step up with me, full foot on the step, we don't want to allow that Achilles tendon to stretch out by having that heel hang off the edge of our chair. If you're doing the wall, sit. Ankles and knees should be aligned. Hamstrings, bottom of your thighs there, should be lined up with the floor. Slide the chin in, back of the head against the wall, shoulders against the wall. Good, time. All right, one more move, and then we get a water break, and then we go into round two. All right, so we have dumbbell heel held here. Why don't you give me a squat? press, and then a bicep curl, okay? Let's try it, ready? Dumbbells up for the squat. As you come up, drive the arms up, drop the arms down, do the curl. Good. Down, press, and drive at the same time. So we want to use the action or the energy from our legs to get the dumbbell up there. Perfect. Abs engage, especially when right there when we're pushing up above the head. And then breathe. Don't forget about breathing. I was going to try a 20 pound today, but I'm glad I didn't now. <laughs> Time. All right, shake it out. Let's grab a sip of water, march it on the spot. We get a minute rest, and then we go into round two. Whew. If you ever want to increase weight, I highly recommend trying it for one set. Have the other pair re right beside you. So in theory, I should have brought the 20 up. I'm being a little lazy ass right now, but I should have brought the 20 up and done what I could, right? And dropped down to my 15. Uh, learn from my mistakes, little grasshopper. <laughs> Whew. Okay, so we know the movements now. We can really start getting to the nitty gritty of the form, all right? The most important being is making sure when we do any of those movement patterns with a forward hinge that we have a neutral spine, okay? So we're hinging from the hip area, not from where the waistband is, where the belly button is, not that type of spine. All right, goblet squat, number one. First exercise, feet apart, toes turned out, chest lifted. Here we go, round two, go. Drive up through the heels, perfect. This is a good tush exercise here. Remember my intro, I help women over the age of 40 reclaim the tush of their 20s? Did I say that? If I didn't, I do. <laughs> and this is one of the moves that we do to reclaim the tush of our 20s. Knees track with the toes, so take a peek. Okay, you want them going out a bit. Toes are turned out a bit as well. Those prone squats with toe touches are coming up. If you're subbing out, remember it's the chest press on the ground. All right, so our setup is head past the fingertips, feet shoulder width apart. Sit your bum back, knees just a couple inches off your ground. Now, downward dog it, opposite toe, high plank. Downward dog it, opposite toe, high plank. Do it again. Whew. 
Keep going at home. Come on, I'm with you too. We can do this. We can do this. Time. Wood chop. All right. Grab that dumbbell. Whew. Here we go. So this is the hip hinge, okay? So it's a slight bend of the knee. Dumbbell goes through the legs. Use the hips. Get the dumbbell up to shoulder height or just slightly above, but we're not going right over the head. Use those hips. We want those glutes to do the action. All right. They're a much bigger muscle group than the shoulders. Abs engaged. And then smile. You showed up. You push play. You're moving. You are effing amazing. T push ups coming up next. Time right here. T push ups. Remember, if that's not your bag, you can go back down on the ground and do that one dumbbell chest press or wall push-ups. Here we go. Push up, make it deep into high plank, feet shoulder width apart so you can drop both feet firmly on the ground into a strong side plank, rotate into high plank, and do it again. So don't rush this one. Finish each movement, make it crisp before you start each series of it, each section of it. Time. Woo. All right. Alternating reverse lunges. Our goal, remember, is try to get that knee all the way to your ground. We'll hold the dumbbell up here. And at any time, too, you can get rid of the dumbbell. You can say, no, I'm done. <laughs> so I have a really cute story to tell you. One of my Patreon patrons, Dinah, she lives in South America. And her daughter, they're doing um, homeschooling because of COVID. And they were doing gym, and the instructor was making them do burpees and squats. And she asked the instructor if she knew me because I make you guys do burpees and squats. <laughs> I love that story so much. <laughs> Dinah's probably watching too. Mwah, I love that story. Thank you. <laughs> Alternating one arm rows coming up. Time. Okay, so this is another one where we want that hip hinge. We want it to be strict. If you have a hard time or if your low back's not feeling it, you can place one hand on your chair, right? And just use that as a support. Okay? Okay, PJ. Otherwise, upper body parallel to your floor. Breathe with the movement. Yeah, I have... An amazing community on Patreon. If you're newish here, you should come join us. It's like 10 bucks a month. I give you a lot of perks, but it's just being a part of a bigger group, knowing that there's other women that have your back. They really are a great group of women in this community. It's nice to feel connected, right? Especially if you're watching this in real time, time with COVID and the self-isolation we've been going through. Okay, um, side lunges. Here we go. So dumbbell in your left hand, you step out with the opposite leg. I don't know if you're the same as me. I find as I get older, I want to connect with people more. I used to be, believe it or not, I am a bit of an introvert. <laughs> I am. I'm okay if I'm talking fitness. <laughs> but anyways, I just feel the need to connect more as I get older. Create more relationships. Ooh. 
Whoo, my legs. Renegade rows coming up. Time. All right, so we have renegade rows. Once again, if that's not working for your wrists or shoulders, you go back to that alternating row, but pull out wide, okay? The rest of us, dumbbell underneath the chest, feet apart. We do not want those hips to move. Nice long spine. To modify, you can be on the knees. Make sure the tush doesn't go up though, okay? I don't know if you can hear it on the video, but somebody in my neighborhood is getting a pretty big tree taken down. <laughs> There's been chainsaws going on all day. <laughs> it's always great to record videos when that's happening. <laughs> Nothing but quality here at Fitness with PJ. <laughs> Real professional sound stage here. <laughs> all right, alternating step ups. If that's not gonna work for you, you're doing that wall sit. Yep, my sound stage is my living room <laughs> that I sold all my furniture in so I can create this space for me. <laughs> but I feel like I'm finally getting value out of our home. So literally, Larry and I, we don't use very many rooms. And there's this big room here, this one, I had furniture in that we never used. And now I do. It's just kind of odd if you come and visit <laughs> with the light sets and everything. It's a little different looking. Hard for entertaining, definitely. Whew. All right, it's getting up on this guy. Time. All right, squat to press to bicep curl. So we start. Feet shoulder width apart, dumbbell at the chest, drop low in your squat. As you come up, drive the dumbbell up. Now finish the curl. Good. LH is gonna build a surround for me for the fireplace behind me. So it's more of a seamless look. See, see, we are getting professional. I know, whoops. I added an extra press there. I kind of feel sorry for him because he's a handyman during the day and then he comes home and I've got a list for him here too. <laughs> Time. All right, one minute break and then our final round. Grab a sip of water. That's just the way it goes though, isn't it? If I were to marry again, which I won't, <laughs> but if I were, I think it'd be like a massage therapist. But I probably would never get massages. That's what I hear from people who are married to massage therapists. At least with my handyman, he still works for me. And it's really cheap labor too, it's awesome. All right, goblet squat. Coming up in 30 seconds. <clears throat> so, where are our feet on this? They're wide, right? So just a tip, if you want to build your booty more, if that's your goal, the wider your stance with a squat pattern, the more hamstring and glute um, you'll incorporate. Narrow stance can be a little bit more quad and hip flexor. There you go, fun tip for you. Take that to the next party. All right, last round, game face is on, let's go. Give me that extra squeeze of the booty when you come up, push through the heels, don't lose the spine. Last set is your best set, yes. Let's say it, last set, good job. I don't know if you heard that, but I kind of burped. <laughs> that would be super awesome if the mic picked that up. I tried to hide it. <laughs> Last set, burp. Prone squats coming up. It's just me babbling in my living room. <laughs> to Dinah, I know Dinah's watching. <laughs> and her daughter, Mwah. Go. 
gosh, I could not coach young people. You would not want me to coach your children. Whew, no. Here we go, prone squat to toe taps. You never know what's going to come out of my mouth. I don't even know what's going to come out of my mouth. Here we go, feet apart, sit back, prone squat, downward dog, toe tap, other side. I am trying to be better on the channel and not swear as much. I recognize that some of you are moms and you do have your young kids with you while you work out. And I'm trying, I really am. But sometimes the D word and the S word, they just escape from my mouth. And I try to pull them back. Come back, come back. But they're out there. Sometimes even the F word. Yep. Time. Whew. I'm sweating now. All right, wood chop. So this is the one where we want to really make sure we nail our form. Okay. We want to train the tush, not send you to physio. Here we go. Squeeze the glutes. Neutral spine. Abs engaged. I think it's because we never had children. So I've never had to filter. And I've, for 25 years, I've been self-employed. So I've never had to really watch what I say. She's been really my entire adult life, verbal diarrhea. Time. T push ups. If you're not feeling those, remember it's the one dumbbell chest press, okay? Here we go. Or you can also do push ups against the wall. Here we go. Chest to ground. Let's do it. Let's do it. Feet apart. Strong side plank. Other arm lifts up, lines up with that top shoulder. You want bottom wrist, bottom shoulder, top shoulder, top wrist, all in one line at that T part of your push up. Lunges are coming up. Time. All right. Back knee to the ground if you can. Back hip and shoulder are in line on that lunge pattern. Dumbbell if you're able to. Here we go. Front knee and ankle aligned. Excellent. Come on, team, let's do this. Time. Uh -huh, that was getting a little tiring near the end. Okay, one arm row now. It's a hip hinge, neutral spine, abs are strong. Don't lose it on this last set. Knees are bent, ready, row up. Elbow past the rib cage. Squeeze that shoulder blade towards the center of your back. Breathe. If you've been working out with me before and you notice the big, beautiful clock I've got above my mantle, and if you're wondering, why is it always 10 to 6 when PJ films? <laughs> yes. Well, my battery died in the clock a couple of years ago, and I never bothered replacing it. <laughs> I just couldn't be bothered. I also hate the sound of ticking clocks. They irritate me. The sound of time ticking away. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> so, please don't leave anymore. Comments below asking me when I'm going to 
put a new battery in because I ain't. <laughs> Dime. But I like the clock. Took me a long time to find that clock. All right, side lunges. Dumbbell in the left hand, step out with the right leg. Had to be a certain size, had to be a certain color. Oh yeah, it was a big shopping. Amazon, every home decor place in the lower mainland. And I don't like shopping. I really don't. So when I buy something, I make sure it's something I love. And this clock has been 10 years old. So I'm going to be honest with you, the battery's probably been dead for nine and a half of those years. <laughs> I'm just trying to keep your mind occupied. <laughs> so you don't have to think about the exercise. Renegade rows are coming up. Times. Remember with this renegade row, if you're not feeling it, I want you to take a wide row, okay, upright. Otherwise, join me on the toes, knees to modify, feet apart. We want to keep those hips squared. The other thing I can't stand listening is people eating, the sound of them gnashing food or slopping food. Ugh. It's a good thing I wasn't a mother. <laughs> oh, I'd be hell to live with. But just chew your food quietly. I don't want to hear it. Done. Step up or wall sit. Sometimes LH will chew loudly just to piss me off. And he succeeds every time. <laughs> Man knows how to get under my skin in seconds flat. <laughs> but I love him to bits. He definitely makes me a better person. Time. Whew. Last move, everybody. Oh, -ho, good times here. Dumbbell held up high and hold it end to end. Remember? Now, squat low, drive up, press up, bicep curl. We're almost there, come on. Smiles on, that timer is gonna go off soon. Finish strong, keep the tempo. Great job. Time, all right. High five, Woo. All right, shake it out, march it on the spot. We gotta let those heart rates come down nice and easy. Whew, yeah, mine's up there. <laughs> Grab some water if you need it. We'll cool it down, do a couple of stretches, and then you can continue on with your day. You are so awesome, well done. I hope I made it fun for you. Whew. Okay, let's use the chair for our, um, for our stretches. So hold on to the chair, get into the quad, pull the knee back, squeeze the bum forward, and that'll give you more of a stretch into that quadricep, which pretty much worked on, yeah. <laughs> um, 
100% of the workout. I'm just looking at all my exercises. They're listed just off camera. That's my trainer YouTube secret. <laughs> Got a big list of the exercises, and yeah, pretty much every single one of them, there's some sort of quadricep work in it. Release. Let's do the other side. You know what's funny is I have all the exercises listed, and I'll still mix them up. <laughs> They're right there, literally five feet away from me, and I can still screw it up. That, my friends, takes talent. All right, if you have a chair with a high top like mine, whip it around. If not, hold on to a wall, step back for a calf stretch. We want to push the hips forward, back heel to the ground, back foot in a straight line. So before you leave me, a few things. I've got a list for you, just like I give a list to my loving husband. All right, first off, if you haven't subscribed, what the hell, man? I've been here for seven years. Come on, subscribe. <laughs> before you leave, I would love to hear from you what you think of the newly revamped Gladiator workout, so make sure you drop a comment down below. And then, if you have been to a few of my workouts, come and join us on Patreon. Really, for $10, you get a host of benefits and perks. And if you don't feel like spending 10 bucks a month, I hear you. You can spend $3 a month and help us to keep this YouTube channel going because it is solely due to the amazing people on Patreon that we can keep the workouts here for free on YouTube. So, hey, I kind of think this workout was worth three bucks. All right, whip your chair around. Heel up, hip hinge for me. Oh, and say hello to the hamstrings. Now, when we do a hamstring stretch, we want to hip hinge, so we don't want to round the back. What I see a lot is people stretching through their upper back. Okay, so I see how I'm flexing my spine up here to stretch my hamstring. My hamstrings are down here. They're not up here. So we want to keep the spine neutral and think about pushing the tailbone back. And that's going to give you more of a length in the back of your thigh. If we're in this position, we can place our hands above or below the knee, but never right on the knee joint. And you know what? You just have to do that once to go, eh, that doesn't feel right. Right? Pushing down on a joint, especially the knee. It should only go one direction forward, not back. And other side. Push the hips back. Woo, hip hinge, yes. All right, one more stretch. This is a really nice stretch. Sit back in a child's pose, big toes together, knees apart. Thumbs are up on the top of your chair. Let your body drop through the arms. Arms are straight. Let the head drop through. Breathe into the back of the body. This one's not on my list, but I just had to do it with you guys. I love this stretch. I wanted to share with you. I'm a rule breaker today. And release up. There you go. We did it. Thank you so much for joining me. I look forward to reading your comments below. I look forward to you subscribing to your channel. And I hope I see you on Patreon. Mwah! Woo! I gotta go clean up. I got a client coming soon. Have a good day.